Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. I don't normally vlog on a Saturday, but we have a nice little weekend ahead of us. Ryan and I are seeing some friends for dinner tonight and staying over at their house. So I'm super, super excited for that. But I have just finished having my daily what to wear crisis, which was amplified times 100 today by my social anxiety. Now we are seeing friends that I love so much and have known for years and I'm so comfortable with going up to see Vic and Alex, but it doesn't stop the social anxiety kicking in. And all I can say is that if you suffer from the same thing, my biggest tip, which I do not follow because I struggle to follow my own advice, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a moron, who knows, who knows. But my biggest tip is plan your outfits in advance because it will save you staring angrily at your wardrobe, which is what Ryan's caught me doing several times this morning. So I have the good old overnight bag. It's very old, by the way. I'll see if I can find similar. Everyone always asks me about it, but I got this like seven years ago or something, like so, so long ago, so long ago. The overnight bag is out. The pile of clothes is there ready for me to decide what to wear. The dress code for this eve is comfy casual. Now, I really thought that was okay to begin with. I was like, yeah, yeah, great. And then I was like, there's so many possibilities within comfy casual so yeah that is my current dilemma what to wear within the comfy casual space because i have so many and there's such a broad spectrum of options within comfy casual i have also just made banana bread i made gluten-free vegan banana bread i always get so frustrated when i do it gluten-free because i always forget how differently the gluten-free options like the gluten-free flour options respond to the process comparatively to just normal like really plain flour so the gluten-free version just always looks a little bit like overdone but it's not overdone and it's actually fine but yeah it's always a bit touch and go in the moment because i just get scared that i'm burning it and i'm not but it just always goes very brown very quickly there's probably something i'm doing wrong and thank you in advance to whoever tells me what i'm doing wrong in the comments really appreciate it oh i also tanned this morning <laughs> i got up at 7 30 to tan i had to get up at 7 30 anyway because super exciting i bought i bought the operative word in that sentence no one come for me and start throwing it back at me when i decide that i love the air app because i didn't get gifted it i bought a dyson air app finally got my hands on one and i'm really excited i saw on victoria's stories yesterday that she'd been sent on and i was like wait are they back in stock because normally they don't send things until the stock is like there you know and i had a quick google they were available on john lewis and qvc there might still be stock if there is still stock when this video goes live i'll link to them but yeah i bought a dyson air up and it was arriving today between 7 30 and 10 30 so i had to be up anyway so i decided to turn so it's it's been a morning you know oh i also forgot to say not just seeing victoria and alex today i am also seeing amelia because she's going to theirs for dinner as well and i'm so excited to see her because i actually i really don't remember the last time i saw her so that is why my banana bread is gluten free as well okay i'm gonna do a little bit of blush because oh, wow i just look really crazy right now it's all gonna come together i promise but yeah i'm sad that we don't have an abundance of time this afternoon before we leave because i would love to play with my air up but i don't think i'm gonna have time and i really don't want to be late because it's one of those habits that i have that i'm really trying to kick where i always end up with like too much time before i do something like i leave myself way too much time and then i make myself late because i like end up doing something else because i then get really over ambitious with the amount of time that i have so yeah but yeah i feel like that's it for me and my waffling i think that's all i have to update you on it's so strange i haven't vlogged in such a long time I was actually very unwell and decided to take like an extended period of time like I was still on Instagram and TikTok and stuff but just an extended period of time off of camera because I just felt like I was really over you know when you're like you can tell your body's not healing particularly well because you're continuing to like push it to the limit one thing I also wanted to tell you guys is I did I finally did a tutorial on how I take up my trousers which I know has been so highly requested and that is now it's on my TikTok I might put it on my reels on my Instagram as well but I just won't put it on my grid so if you go onto like the little reels section I might put it on there as well just so it's really accessible for everyone because some people messaged me recently saying oh I don't have 
TikTok for my mental health, then I'm I'm kind of assuming that might be like dietary. Sorry if you can hear Ryan laughing, he's playing PlayStation. I would love to know if you have done that, why it is. I'm assuming that for some people it might be like diet and weight loss things that like pop up, which is completely understandable. But for those of you that aren't on TikTok, I will put it on Reels. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. We are on route, we are on time. I don't know how this has happened because this rarely happens. 4 p.m. on the dot is our estimated arrival time. I've cooked two, not one, but two banana breads. They are in the milk. We've massively overpacked. It's like we're staying for about a week with the amount of outfits that I've bought. Brian's packed a sensible amount. Hello, darling, how are you? Hello. But anyway, I'm very excited because we're nearly there. It's gonna be so fun. Although I have realized I've forgotten all of my hair things. So I'm gonna look cute from here down tomorrow and then on top gonna basically look like a bird's nest, which is good. But I've just got a Zara blazer on right now. Zara top, Adenola leggings, Axel Arigato trainers, and then my little Chanel 19. And I have sunnies as well. It's very bright as you can see. The weather still can't make up its mind as to whether it's raining or sunny. I'm wearing my Prada. I will check in with you in a little bit because we're almost there. We have arrived! Hi best friend! Hi best friend! Oh, we actually arrived like half an hour ago so he's not that interested in me right now but he is my best friend I swear. Hi other best oh. friend! Oh. She's eating crisps. Sorry I was a bit crisp. <laughs> and uh, I've already raided Victoria's wardrobe. Oh, I'm just walking around the house oh, having very serious conversations like Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think I need to buy this bag, guys. Can you let me know? Susie's like one looks like one of those people that like refuses to let go of her bag. You know when you're like, it's okay, you can yeah. put your bag down, that person's like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> My bag is actually on the side over there, it's fine. Hi, I haven't vlogged you yet. I've been here for ages. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm so we excited need another to be here. Roll. We do need another rapper roll. You're I said I got here ten minutes ago and that was like a real under exaggeration. <laughs> You got him like two hours ago. <laughs> you actually did as well. Yes. Two hours. So drunk, time flies. Just one really, really big apple. Amelia just asked me if I was pregnant, and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because you were talking about babies. I was like, wait, what have I missed? My middle name is Apple. <laughs> I've raided the wardrobes. Mr. is here. Got a lovely spread. It's delicious. I'm obsessed with these crisps. They're so, good. They're so yummy. So yummy. I've I've really missed you. Yeah. I can't remember when the last time was that I saw you. I know. I'm like, oh my god, it's Amelia in real life. Such an iconic game. I'm so thrilled Oh my god. Look at the men barbecuing. I am obsessed with them. I love this. This is yeah. the best friendship. We are having Italian and pizza night. And the pizza making has commenced. I'm going until last basically, so this one can make my pizza for me because I am culinary. Oh, okay, that's fine. Amelia's pizza is going in the oven. Oh my god, this is such a cute pizza oven. So you kind of lift it up and then shuffle it in. Oh, I'm a pro. I meant. Nailed it. <laughs> New calling. Nailed it. Nailed it. I don't know how to do this, so here goes literally nothing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend Sorry. cooks everything, what do I do? <laughs> that looks stunning. You know what, you can make it oh. if you want to. <laughs> I mean, I was aiming for round, but I'm not quite getting <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought, I thought it was like, you know, like, I wasn't being artistic, no, I'm just not very good at this. <laughs> you do that, it looks absolutely <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Come on, bye. Oh. Right. right so. There's a bit of a flick with this. A flick. Depends how heavy it is, how heavy you've made it. So. 
Try it, so it's a bit of you can... What? And then so I put it in. you've got to get it off. Oh! <laughs> oh! Right. You're doomed. We're doomed. Yeah, I struggle with that technique. Alex had to do mine as well. Okay. Oh my God. Pizza is in the oven. Bo is trying to find his ball. <laughs> He's so yeah. cute. <laughs> come on, come on, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go, like a pro. I'm not sure. <laughs> bit more, bit more elbow grease. Oh my god, this is my pizza, this is the pasta that our chef, our gracious chef has made for us. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know, I love that the bag is still there because I... <laughs> This is why I bought two bags with me. Let me just take a moment for the fact that I've never turned up to Victoria's house with less than one huge overnight bag for like a 24 hour stay because I'm going to smuggle her handbag. Yes. Gonna have all your Elite handbag collection. You wait till I get in your house. Yeah. When that shroom is like 10 out of 10. When it's built. Yeah. When it's built. I'm gonna be smuggling Amelia's bags. But I am taking the bag for a test run in Victoria's kitchen because I think it's very pretty. Lovely family Hi, breakfast Papa. moment. Hi, Papa. Hello, guys. Hi, Hello. Hi, Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm making myself look super healthy right now, but actually, this is not my lemon and hot water. This oh. is this one's. <laughs> How do you look so cute in the morning? I know. Babe, it's called giant sunglasses. Can't <laughs> Where are my sunglasses? I need them right now. Look at you. I think all of my footage from this trip is just bow. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he is the best, though, isn't he? Him. I'm going to the shroom. I'm going to the special place that I like to call my own personal heaven. Oh, guys, Am I look. To post that? <laughs> yes, you can post that. <laughs> look at her. Look, look at her ass. <laughs> I mean, that you is creep. motivation. I don't know what it is. Motivation for what? I well, haven't been to the gym in a long a time. <laughs> dead. I'm dead. Makeup is done. I've just done my makeup in the in the fray wardrobe of dreams <laughs> amelia is emailing <laughs> in the background victoria's gonna give me a dyson air wrap tutorial because my air wrap arrived yesterday and i'm so excited to use it and i also just desperately need a hairbrush at this point <laughs> it's really it's really upsetting me I think you should go into hairdressing. This is fantastic. Air wrapping for a living. <laughs> Only with Dyson's. Oh, it looks great. It looks beautiful. We're all ready. Perfect to roll. Oh, it feels so much better Yay. after straight hair yesterday and it was getting a bit limp. Oh, it's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just getting ready for our little trip to Vista Village today and Amelia very kindly gifted me so many gorgeous earrings she bought them all with her for me how sweet got a trinket dish in here which i love and then all the green vibes which you guys will know i really love the raimi like green stones they're beautiful these earrings these are going to be an absolute staple in my wardrobe and then i've also got this ring which i'm going to wear today it's really beautiful and dainty and i feel like it'll go with what i'm already wearing and i've just got a belt that i'm going to pop on I need to find my shoes i think these are the shoes i'm going to wear today gucci loafers 
Oh my goodness, we're here. Look bow. Look bow bow. We're here. I'm so excited. We've arrived. I'm so excited. Our shopping trips together are iconic. Yeah. Because I have zero guilt over shopping when I'm with this You should have seen the last vlog footage. Oh my God, yeah, we, we should. Do I still have it? There was, there's Victoria buying two pairs of very, very, very similar boots. But she still wears them constantly I so that's yeah, probably some of my most warm boots to be fair but excellent purchases yeah. it was great i love that so much that was such a great day yeah, <laughs> so if you haven't been to Vista village it's basically this cute little village full of like loads of shopping outlet stores so like kind of last season bits you can get some really good bargains here and i absolutely love it there's also like some really nice restaurants and bits like that some beauty shops too so you can get some good bargs home bits i just love it here it's my heaven we've been here about 10 minutes I've already made a purchase which was in Victoria's vlog because I was very sidetracked and completely forgot to do vlog things and now we're heading for some food because we are all very hungry. It was a really good purchase so guys by yeah. the way. She approves. And yeah it was exactly what you wanted. It is Victoria approved. Sort of Burberry trench. Yeah. They know. It's a perfect colour, perfect <laughs> length, perfect details. It's like, like exactly what you wanted. Thank you. Gets a gold star from her which is yeah. great for me. I need these shoes. These shoes are amazing. Look at those. So pretty. Got a new dog. <laughs> Ryan loves him. Aww. You too. So cute. Bye best friend. Bye best friend. I love you. I love you. Look, she's literally, she's escorting me to the car. She's like, get out. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> Good morning guys. We got back really late last night. Well, not really late, but kind of late for me last night from Vic and Alex's. And I went to my mum's, picked up Nala, sat in bed, had a cup of tea and was eating like a M&S cake jar, the vegan ones, at like 11 o'clock at night and it was amazing. We had the best, best weekend with Victoria, Alex and Amelia. It was so much fun. I'll do a little recap of what I picked up from Vista Village in a second and I'll like show you things. But actually, I'm just going to unbox my air wrap with you because I've just done my makeup, which I think you will see in the next vlog because I'm kind of like doing two at once right now. But yeah, I wanted to do my hair and I thought I'd give it a go with you. I'd already straightened my hair before Vic did it yesterday. So she was like, it's not gonna hold as well because you've like, especially because I like blow dry my hair and I blow dried it straight and I used all the product for straight hair and then I straightened my hair like a good couple of times before I went to see her. It basically held up until this morning and it still had a swish this morning and then I brushed it and then I went for a walk and it's all gone. But yeah, anyway, I'm excited to give this a proper road test on like 90% dry, freshly washed hair. I think that will probably work the best. But yeah, let's get this open. I want to unbox it. I'm just really excited to see it. So as lots of you will know, this was my last resort. I've been really trying to, why can I not do this? What is wrong with me this morning? I've been really trying to perfect like the blow dry vibe. I can almost blow dry my hair. I can do a swishy blow out myself, but it's really, really difficult. It's very time consuming. This looks way quicker. I love the GHD Rise. I used to use the GHD Rise a lot when I had short hair and it was super, super healthy because I was having it cut short all the time. But now that I'm trying to grow my hair, like I want really, really ridiculously long hair, I want to be able to get that swishy blow dried look with like the minimum effort, which is why I've tried all of the heatless curls. I have like all of the, the stupid thing that goes over your head, rollers, the little like twisty bendy stick things. I've tried everything. I've tried the heat options. So like I kind of can get a cool look if I use like a curler or use my straighteners to curl and then put the rollers in. But in terms of going from like washed hair to a blow dry, this does seem like the best like easiest option. And I really didn't want to pay this much money for something. Like if you've been watching the vlogs, you'll know. I've literally tried 
all my options like i've been investing in different mousses to try and get things to hold longer and they're definitely like it's all in the prep and i completely get that and the more like dry textured your hair is like the better things are gonna hold my hair is quite dry and textured as it is but i feel like i've really exhausted all my options and i just want to give this a go and decide what is best annoyingly whatever i do to it when my hair is quite malleable and whatever i do to it when i blow dry it sticks hence why it's straight right now my hair lots of you will know if you've been watching the vlogs for years is a natural like beach wave like really really wavy so with that in mind i feel like if i can get a really nice big curly blow dry myself at home like my hairdresser can do then it might stick so whenever my hairdresser does it it holds really well got the complete the air wrap complete i hope this is the good one to be getting i really don't know i don't know that much about it wow this is this is some packaging there's a lot of bits there's a lot of things okay so this is what we've got in there we've got lots of attachments this is fun oh the things that i'm mostly going to be using are these little bits this is when i have to call lauren in from the office to help me because i don't know what i'm doing but yeah outside of this if you are looking to get this kind of like blow dry look for less the best thing i would recommend is if you can curl your hair with a straightener because i feel like a straightener is one swish movement it's the least damaging in terms of like a heat styler on my hair i have to go over it the least i don't really worry about what the curl looks like because i then pop it straight into a roller and then you get this like it changes the kind of overall shape of the curl and that is like the best method i've tried so far if you've got the ghd like curling wand that as well if you like clip it and then roll is great and then pop the roller in and that keeps it like that holds it i would use mousse and like all of that kind of stuff to try and really help to hold the hair as best you can so if you're looking to get this kind of a vibe for less because i know these are so much money that is what i would recommend if i mean if you can do yourself a blow dry that is the best but it's hard it's really hard my arms i spend so many days with my arms aching because i'm trying so hard so here goes literally nothing i did get a actual tutorial off of the dyson queen herself yesterday it's different when you're doing it on yourself so here we go Whoa. okay cool if anyone needs me this afternoon this is where i'll be I don't know how long it will last. I basically ignored most of Victoria's advice. <laughs> so <laughs> she's like the queen of Dyson. And I'm like, I'm mm, just gonna not listen to half of what she's saying. But I didn't really want to put any more product in my hair because I am due a hair wash, but this is pretty good. I'm very happy with this. I'm so excited to wash my hair and see what my hair goes like. I'm not gonna brush it out or anything. I'm just gonna leave it to drop. But you can kind of see like the ends are like they have dropped i feel like if i left the heat on i was like really reserved with the heat i feel like if i did it on the high heat for longer and then i started using the cool setting to set it and then i pinned it it would really last so i'm gonna order some little like long pins i've got a few like short colored ones but i'm gonna order some like longer pins so that i can properly like roll it and pin and then i think it'll last a really long time and that'll be so great so i'm really happy with it i'll see how it goes over the course of the day i feel like you'll see in the next vlog how long it lasts maybe but i'm not expecting like great things because like i said i straightened it when i washed it so it is just like this sleek soft mass of hair so yeah we'll see how it goes but this is so cool <gasps> i'm really happy so i have my bits here i went to bista village armed with a list this time because the one thing that i have found over my years of bista villaging is that i tend to buy things that i don't get 
as much wear out of as I would like. Some things I actually do, some things I don't, but there were a few things that I was going to buy anyway, but that I thought I would keep an eye out for like that style of item at Vista Village, just so that I could get a little bit of a discount. The first thing being a Burberry trench coat. I have always wanted a Burberry trench coat. They're just so iconic, they're so fun. And they had their like really iconic, like heritage style in there. I think this was the last one. I'll probably get like a restock at some point, but it has like, the really gorgeous sort of shell buttons that I love. There were a lot there that had like very different buttons, which were still really nice, but just not my vibe. And I really wanted like all of the trench coats that I personally really love have like a cute tortoiseshell button. I think it just makes the coat look a little bit more premium. I don't know, some people might think the opposite because I think it's a real preference thing, but I love a tortoiseshell button. And they had them in different lengths. This is a really long length. So very similar to the length that I would wear already. And I really like that. And I went for this very traditional like tan color, like the iconic kind of Burberry color I associated with this color anyway, which I don't have. I have like a like off white kind of grayishy one and I have a black one. So I wanted this to be something a little bit different, but really, really timeless that I will wear over and over again. And I tried this on, Ryan absolutely loved it. I'll show you a little clip. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's got like a tie waist as well, which is just so great. But you can like tie it at the back if you want as well. It's got the little buttons here. So you can, if you're having it open, you can just button it, which is a feature that I love and it doesn't happen enough on trench coats personally for me. But yeah, it's so cute. I really like it and it fits so well. It was my exact size. It's just meant to be. So yeah, I picked that up. It was, if you don't like hearing the price of expensive things, cover your ears. It was a hundred, hundred lol, I wish. 1,790 pounds reduced to 1,250 pounds. So a decent saving and something that it's, if you wanted something already, Vista Village is well worth going to because I was going to buy a trench coat on Farfetch and I was like actually I'm going to wait for Vista I'm just going to wait and see so really really excited that I have one and it's like the perfect the perfect one I really wouldn't have bought one if it wasn't like the one and then we have a little something from Dior I've been on the hunt for a pair of nude shoes for the longest time it's actually something that I don't have many of in my wardrobe I have one pair of nude shoes from YSL and they're incredibly uncomfortable I just grin and bear it because if I need to wear a nude pair of heels, I'm wearing those heels. This style of shoe is one that I love. I had tried this style of shoe on in Victoria's dressing room in black, literally yesterday morning. And I loved them. And then they had them in a nude. Oh, they are literally the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. I love them so much. They're so cute. I think they look really cool with like a pair of jeans, but they will also look great with, I have so many like pairs of trousers. This is one of my favorite pairs of trousers from Zara and these are gonna look so good with them. I'm so happy. And they'll do me really well throughout all seasons if I am wearing like a heel. These kind of can do a bit of both. Sorry guys, the door went and then I ran out of battery. I feel like these would look lovely, both like with a cute dress at Christmas, like something simple because these are obviously very specific style and they're quite like jazzy as a nude shoe, as far as a nude shoe goes. They've got a bit more going on than my other nude heels, I feel like. But they could still work really well during the winter with a nice dress as well as during the spring summer months. So I think I'll get a good amount of wear out of these. I also think this, these kind of shoes are so cool if it's like dressy, but cash vibes these will be a go-to heel for me and actually the other day i was like putting on one of my white pairs of trousers and i had like a nude colored top on and i was like i wish i had my blue like zara heels that i have that are basically like this because that will bang with this outfit and that is exactly what i found at vista and i'm so happy i don't know what the original price of these were but these were 7 40 yeah i'm obsessed with these and when i finally get my dressing room done these are gonna be like one of the like cute display pairs because I love them so much like this detailing is everything look at that stunning Dior do a really good nude as well like they are the best for this blush type of nude so yeah that is my little Vista Village haul I will now be unlocking my bank cards away for the foreseeable but yeah I think that is going to be it for me today I have got a lot to get on with so I'm going to leave you guys here I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and coming along with me over the weekend and just seeing everything we got up to we honestly had the best time so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me I literally need to finish this vlog and start a new one so I'll be back with you guys again very very soon sorry there's been a bit of a lull with the videos recently I was very very unwell so 
we had to kind of take a pause so yeah we're back now i'm so happy to be back it's so nice to like catch up with you so i will see you guys again very very soon love you bye